What's up, everybody, and happy Wednesday, happy hump day, halfway through the week, and yes, as always, I'm excited. Now, excuse me, I'm not sure how much of my background you can see, but I'm just going to focus right here. Excuse me for uh, this, you know, I'm, I haven't, you know, gone out and joined some, you know, group, I'll put it like that, but um, no, I washed my hair, and I'm actually about to hit the road to head to my aunt's house to help her perfect prepare for my um uh my grandmother's funeral on friday so i just needed something really quick i washed it and then i'm going straight to her house so i'm looking how i'm looking i know i know but it's wednesday it actually was a beautiful day today in cleveland i'm not sure if anyone was able to get out and enjoy the weather but it was a nice day and i'm just happy again to be back with you guys i told you guys on monday that i took a bit of a hiatus about a 10-day hiatus just to get my menta my mentality together um to make sure that my mental health was a one and now i'm back at it and i'm better than ever so let's get right into it as always god is blessing us he's always going to be blessing us today is going to be kind of a short one because i do have to hit the road and then um on friday i will not be making a video because again i'll be with my family cele celebrating the life and legacy of my grandmother but this month we are starting a new goal focus which is to be thankful and honestly i think that this aside from it being the season of thanks okay so aside from aside from the upcoming holiday of thanksgiving i think that this is right on time at least for me because there's so much that's happening not only in the world um <clears throat> but also in my life with my group of friends at my job you know in a different environments that i'm being pulled in there's so much that's happening that i have to be thankful for okay um so i'm excited to be talking about this goal focus this month and then for this week our focus is um is to be thankful so um obviously that's our goal focus for the month but this week we're going to really introduce um our thankfulness i guess if you want to call it like that and then the rest of the month we're just going to coast off of that thankfulness and make sure that every single week we're talking about something that has to do with how thankful we are in every area of our life in every situation even if again on the outside we know that a lot of things could could be going wrong a lot of things probably are going wrong in in different areas in our lives but there's still so much to be thankful for and that is what we want to focus on so what does it mean to be thankful or what does it mean to have some sort of uh thankfulness it means that you are um hold on because i looked it up and i want to make sure that i got it right it means that you are pleased and relieved so um, something happens in which you are pleased with the situation or you're relieved with the situation. And that, honestly, that definition alone kind of, it didn't confuse me, but I was like, well, you know, I feel like there's more to that than just being pleased and relieved. So I looked up the definition of relief and this is where we are going to hone in on is a feeling of reassurance and relaxation following the re, re release, excuse me, from anxiety or distress. So a feeling of um, reassurance. So you're reassured in where you are right now, or you're reassured in whatever you came through because you no longer have that feeling of anxiety or you no longer have the, those feelings of distress. And again, when we're thinking about think, th being thankful, we have to always focus on, well, two things. We want to focus on what's going good in our lives, okay? Focusing on where God is calling us to be, the good things that he is allowing us to experience, but also that deliverance. So that deliverance from anxiety to a place of peace. And honestly, I know a lot is going on in the world right now, but we have to make sure that we are continuing to fight to get over that hump of anxiety so that we can experience peace. That way we can be thankful of, of everything, honestly. <clears throat> When you're living in your purpose, of course, when you're living in your purpose and you're experiencing true peace, you are able to be thankful even in the midst of, you know, chaos that's going on around you. Okay, so have some homework since we're not going to be uh, or since I'm not going to be sharing a video with you guys on Friday. But I want you guys to make a list and I know <laughs> make a list of what you're thankful for is really what you're going to is really what you're going to do. What the, That's what the homework is. But I know that kind of seems very um like a lot of times around this time, a lot of people say like, oh, make make a thankfulness list, like list of things that you're thankful for, but really sit back and look at it in comparison to the craziness that's going on around. Like there's so much, whether it's in 
um, politics, just everyday life, you know, with the police brutality, um, racism, sexism, all of that stuff. There's so much that's happening that's pulling us in several different directions, pulling, pulling our feelings, I'll say, in several different directions that really can, um, can weigh on us men mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So we really need to tap in. So when you're thinking about this thankfulness list, understand you know where you are now where god has you right now where god has the rest of the world now and how you are going to overcome that anxiety or that stress and that's where your thankfulness will lie because it's really not how you are going to overcome but how god is going to get you through that and that's where the thankfulness starts is just the first hump of getting over that and then your list honestly can go on from there so go ahead and make that list you know um pray about it ask God about it, make that list, and then look at that every single day and really make sure that that's your focus for the rest of this month is that thankfulness list. Not everything else that's going on, okay? Not stress, not, you know, your job, not your friends, not your significant other, not your family, but that, that thankfulness list. That way, again, we can live more pur purposeful lives and then also just experience peace, okay? Because if anything we need right now, we need peace. All right, so that is our video for today. Again, your homework is to make that thankfulness list. I'll be doing the same, so we in this together. But I um, hope everyone has a great rest of the week. I will be coming back next week on Monday with another video um, for a new focus for next week. But I hope everyone has a great week, and I will talk to you guys again next week. Bye.